Well, it's adventure time. Oh, oh. But shut the worries. My name is Kalman. Welcome to that Russian gamer guy, and welcome back to Detroit Become Human. We are continuing our adventure, and here we go. We're on our way. It's November 9th, 2038. Hank and Connor. We are. Hank is my friend, by the way. So, we are on our way to meet this guy, the creator of Androids. The one that gave um, Marcus as present to that um, painter guy. I forgot his name. Alright, what's happening? He has something on his mind. Hank, spit it out. Still immortal, huh, Connor? Oh. In a way. You know, I was hoping you wouldn't come back. I'm just a machine replacing another machine, Lieutenant. You shouldn't get emotional about it. Fuck you. Oh, shoes. I thought we were friends. All right. Kamsky left Cyberlife ten years ago. Why did you want to meet him? <laughs> this guy created the first android to pass the Turing test. And he's the founder of Cyberlife. Anybody can tell us about Deviance, it's him. That's true. Maybe he is the one who put some code inside to make them go wild. And he's behind all this situation. Oh. Wait. Hi. Uh, I'm. Lieutenant Hank Anderson, Detroit Police Department. I'm here to see uh, Mr. Elijah Kamsky. Please, come in. This is the girl from the titles, from okay. the main menu. Wow, this is cool. Oh, barefoot. I'll let Elijah know you're here, but please make yourself comfortable. Merci, mon amour. Meet Kamsky. Wait for the android. Okay. Analyze. Kamsky Elijah, Cyberlife founder, inventor of Ethereum and biocomponents technology. He looks evil, to be honest. I don't know if it's good or not. Nice girl. You're right. She's... This is Amanda. Amanda. What? Really pretty. Nice Why place. she? Guess androids haven't been a bad thing for everybody. Well, about to meet your maker, Connor. How's it feel? Well, it's not that I really care. Impatient, distant, indifferent. I don't know. I'll tell you when I see him. Ha! Good answer. Sometimes I wish I could meet my creator face to face. <laughs> I'd have a couple of things I'd want to tell him. He funny. I'm very sorry. I feel sorry for Hank because he's been through a lot. Huh. These are like triangles like this, and the revolutionary triangles are like this. Interesting. Elijah will see you now. Alright, Elijah. Ooh, girls. What? Bloodbath? What? Blood of a virgin? Let me go. Mr. Kamsky! Where is he? Oh. Just a moment, please. Just a moment, please. Ooh. Okay, slap slap. Well, hello. Hey, come on, I'm here. What the hell? I'm not gonna be waiting here forever. Rich people. Ooh. 
All right. Hello. Hmm. Interesting. Girls. Gee, they are all the same, and they are talking to each other like what? Lieutenant Anderson, this is Connor. What can I do for you, Lieutenant? Sir, we're investigating deviants. I know you left Cyberlife years ago, but I was hoping you'd be able to tell us something we don't know. He looks evil like fuck. Deviants. Fascinating, aren't they? Perfect beings with infinite intelligence. And now they have free will. Machines are so superior to us. Confrontation was inevitable. Humanity's greatest achievement threatens to be its downfall. Isn't it ironic? Help Deviant's virus war virus. I don't know. We need your help. We need to understand how androids become deviants. Do you know anything that could help us? All ideas of viruses that spread like epidemics. Ye. Is the desire to be free a contagious disease? Listen, I didn't come here to talk philosophy. The machines you created may be planning a revolution. Either you can tell us something that'll be helpful, or we will be on our way. Right. What about you, Connor? Whose side are you on? Neutral, defensive, direct. I have no side. I was designed to stop deviants, and that's what I intend to do. And actually, I can do both. <laughs> Robots Well, that's and what humans. you're programmed to say. But you. What do you really want? Aggressive, defensive, troubled, neutral. Yee! Yeah. I believe we're the ones asking the questions. Chloe? I'm sure you're familiar with the Turing test. Your formality. Simple question of algorithms and computing capacity. Well, let's do it. What interests me is whether machines are capable of empathy. I call it the Kamsky test. It's very simple, you'll see. Magnificent, isn't it? One of the first intelligent models developed by CyberLife. Young and beautiful and beautiful forever. He will he still love me. A flower that will never wither. He looks to you. What is it really? A piece of plastic containing a human? Or a living being? With a soul. Who? We we about to do what? It's up to you to answer that fascinating question, Connor. Oh my god. Bitch, Destroy I'm not playing your games. And I'll tell you all I know. Okay. Or spare it. If you feel it's alive. But you'll leave here without having learned anything from me. Alright, I'll kill her. Okay, I think we're done here. Come on, Connor, let's go. Sorry to get you What's out of here. What's more important to you, Connor? Your investigation or the life of this android? Investigation. Decide who you are. An obedient machine. Or a living being. So. Endowed with free will. That's enough. Connor, we're leaving. Pull no. Connor, don't. And I'll tell you what you want to know. Alright, so I'm gonna shoot because she is not a deviant. It means that she doesn't have this a uh, human trait. And they can fix it uh, in case of something happens. If she was a deviant, I wouldn't kill her. But she is not, so I'll do it. Plus, I wanna see what he's gonna say. Plus, it's investigation. Plus, she's a robot. Oh. Test negative. If you choose your investigation over the life of another android, you feel no empathy.
Wait, what? I'm a man of my word. Ask one question. <gasps> and I'll tell you all I know. Only one, bitch? Of course, RA9 Jericho location virus. <sighs> I want to know who RA9 is. Marcus. RA9. The origin. The first android to awaken. A strange phenomenon. Like a spontaneous religion. It is. I don't know who RA9 is. I don't even know if it really exists. Maybe it's a messiah. Maybe it's just a myth. But deviants need to believe in something bigger than themselves. Even if it's irrational. That's uh, something they have in common with humans. An interesting question, Connor. But maybe not the one you needed to ask. Bitch! What question I needed to ask? A war is coming. You'll have to choose your side. Will you betray your own people? Or stand against your creators? <gasps> I wouldn't like to be in your shoes, Connor. What could be worse than having to choose between two evils? Ooh. I feel something about this scene like ooh, ooh, Mr. Kamsky. He was By about way, to kiss Connor. I always leave an emergency exit in my programs. You never know. Bitch, what emergency exit? Stop fucking talking to me in riddles. What you for, bitch? That girl for fuck's sake. It wasn't a girl, Lieutenant. It was a machine that looked like a girl. You put Come your on. gun against her head and you blew her fucking brains out. I did what I had to do to advance the investigation and I'd do it again if I had to. You're a low life. You don't feel a thing, do you? A machine, that's what you are. You're just a fucking machine. Of course I'm a machine, Lieutenant. What did you think I was? I thought you... I thought... Oh, Hank. I'm sorry. Wow, he really liked Connor. He really liked him. I mean, I don't feel bad about killing that girl. Well, first, she's not a girl. Second, uh, priorities. Uh, second, she is not a deviant. So it was okay. Uh, ooh, Hank thought Connor made the right decision. Hank was disappointed with Connor's decision. 11 freaking percent. 11 percent. <gasps> Bitch. Look, ask about RA9, 8 percent, and then Kamsky is cryptic, or Kamsky is not cryptic, or what? How do I get his answer? Oh, my. Oh, it's the virus question. Eh, all right, but we're in 11%. It's pretty cool. Uh, we'll see what's gonna happen next. Bitch, did I say continue? Yes. November 9th, 2038. It's Marcus time, baby. We're about to go to war, huh? Q. Let's see. Beautiful Detroit Android. <laughs> Detroit Android. All right. Uh, of course we're gonna read the journal. Android riot. Wait. It wasn't destroyed. It was a peaceful protest. You cannot call it a riot. Anyway, we read this thing. Let's see what else we have in this room. Piano, let's play it. Come on.
All right, let's go. I'm just gonna be pressing it. Beautiful, huh? That was cool. I loved it. Okay. I don't know. It was cool. Oh, shit. <gasps> he gonna be suicidal? Instead of being 16 and burning up a Bible? North, neutral. I was wondering where you were. Well, I'm here, girl. Think alone daylight. I just needed to be alone. Just for a bit. I like it here. I come here often. It's like being alone with the world. We freed hundreds of our people and they're still coming from all over the city. Those who dream of freedom come to Jericho. All right. Something's changing. You seem preoccupied. Followers. They all obey me. They follow me without question. And that much power feels good. And scary at the same time. I need followers on my YouTube. Are talking about what we did last night. The humans are terrified. They're afraid of a civil war. Many of our people were burned in response to what happened. The humans hate us. Why? They'll never give us our freedom. Uh, public opinion was uh, supporting. No, not all humans are the same. Some of them understand that they can't stop us from becoming free forever. You haven't said much about yourself since you've been with us. What was your life like before Jericho? It was amazing to be honest. Through sincere, avoid not important. I was living in a bubble in this world that belonged only to me. When you're happy, it's difficult to see other people's misery. Yeah, that's true. What about you? You never told me about your past. What did you do before? That's I easy. Trust. Why not, bitch? What did you deal with all the mystery? I thought we didn't keep secrets from each other. What's your problem? I was nobody, okay? My life started when I arrived in Jericho. What happened before is my business. Come on! For Christ's sake, uh, she asked me about it. Why I couldn't ask her in return? What the hell, girl? You're playing like in... One gate. Wait, is it Simon? My man. Let's hug. Thanks for coming back. Yeah, Simon. That's nice. That's really nice. All right, Jericho, admired. We're doing good. We're doing this good. This is suicide. We'll all be killed. Please, Marcus. It's not too late to change your mind. You don't understand. We're finally going to show them who we really are. This place will go down in history. We'll be killed on the spot. That's the risk I'm prepared to take if it means freedom for our people. Marcus, please don't do this. It's all going to be cool. Come on, stop. They'll understand. We'll make them understand. This is the only way. Bit. Rally your people. Convert more there Android. androids here who could join us. The more we are, the stronger our message. So the thing is, um, if we die, um, it's gonna be a sacrifice, and people gonna be like more on android side because it was unfair to kill somebody who is actually uh, not aggressive. They're doing this uh, peaceful riot. You're free. 
Hello. Plus two. All right, it's like my <laughs> YouTube subscribers. Come on, guys, let's make it to ten thousand at least. So what? You slipped. Veronica. Here's another one. She's gonna be like, no, take your bag. I don't care no more. What is this thing about Bellini paint? Why everybody wants to use it? You're awake now. All right, I have four subscribers. Good. <laughs> Yo, guys, come on. You don't have to obey them. You're free. Wait, why it's only me who can convert people? Am I R A nine? Oh, 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 wait, wait, wait. You are free. I like his outfit. Uh, Is the name Android? No. You're free. And she's like, yes, I am. You're free now. Hey! Where do you think you're going? You get back! Leave him alone. He's chosen to be free. Wow. He really said, all right. Wow. I need to block the street. Yeah, guys, come on, help me. Gee, it's coming. Riot is coming. Open manhole. What? Manhole? Wait. Wait. Manhole? What is this? I never heard it. It sounds like... Ooh. What is this sound? Oh, more to come. All right, my riot. Come on, everybody. Convert more androids. Yo, now I don't have to touch him. He's RA9, I'm telling you. She not coming back, man. Androids, plus 41. So cool. Literally, like my subscribers on YouTube. Oh my god. And I love each one of them. Detroit Police Department. That's cool. Look at this. That's a lot of us. Wow, they started taking pictures, look. One oh nine already, yes. That's a lot. Wow. And you see, we're really doing nothing bad. We're just marching. One sixty-three. Disperse. Disperse immediately. That's an order. Raise hands. Christ! 
this bet. This is patrol 457. I got a lot of androids down here. I don't know, hundreds, thousands. Of... Is there more people to join me? No more slavery. Oh my god. Please no. Please no. We're not doing anything. Please. No, 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 no. It cannot be like this. We are not doing anything at all. Nothing bad. We're just fucking marching. Jesus. Please. We came here to demonstrate peacefully. And tell humans that we are living beings. All we want is to live free. This is an illegal gathering. Disperse immediately or we will open fire. We're not looking for confrontation. We've done no harm. We have no intention of doing any. But know that we are not going anywhere until we have secured our freedom. I repeat, this is an illegal gathering. If you do not disperse immediately, we will shoot. Marcus, they're gonna kill us. What about people? We have to attack. There's no. more of us. We can take them. If we attack, we'll start a war. We have to show them we're not violent. We should just stand their ground, even if it means dying here. Dying here won't solve anything. Marcus, we need to go now, before it's too late. No. This is your last chance. Disperse immediately, or you will all be killed. Jesus, attack, stand, disperse. I mean, oh, let's go. I like Don't what shoot. Simon says. Don't shoot. We're leaving. Affirmative. We'll do another ride sometime. Let's go. Josh, Simon, uh, Simon. Come on, Marcus. I mean, publicity. Go. They should see that we were running and they were shooting in our backs. Jeez, I think I just made a mistake. We should have just stayed and did nothing. Oh, shoot. Ah, sure. Some androids sacrifice. Uh, uh, um. What the hell? Let's see. World starts. So Marcus fled twenty three percent. John gave his life to save Marcus forty percent. And there are one, two, three other options: charge, sacrifice, self, run away. Oh my god. Hella crazy. This episode is hella crazy and I think that I made a huge mistake running away. But I was thinking about that some people are recording and so when they all everybody will see that um we were running away and doing no harm. Publicity will love us, but it looks like it was a mistake. We should have just stayed. Ooh, 5 I mean 4 p.m. Talk to Amanda. What is this head? Maybe it's the exit that Kamsky told me about. Huh. So 
So what it is? It just won't work. No matter what I do. Oh oh. Wow. It's like ice. What's happening, Amanda? You okay? After what happened today, the country is on the verge of a civil war. The machines are rising up against their masters. Humans have no choice but to destroy them. Shit. I didn't learn anything at Kamsky's. I thought RA-9 was the key to the whole thing, but... I was wrong. I saw a photo of Amanda at Kamsky's place. Explain, baby. She was his teacher. When Kamsky designed me, he wanted an interface that would look familiar. That's why he chose his former mentor. What are you getting at? I don't know. Did Kamsky design this place? He created the first version. It's been improved significantly since then. Why do you ask? You didn't tell me everything you know about deviants, did you? I expect you to find answers, Connor. Not ask questions. Have you experienced anything unusual recently? Any doubts or conflicts? Do you feel anything for these deviants? Yeah. Or for Lieutenant Anderson? Yes, bitch. I've started having thoughts that are not part of my program. I've considered the possibility that I might be compromised. You've Bitch. been confronted with difficult situations. It's no surprise you're troubled. That doesn't make you a deviant. Oh my, I thought she was about to kill him. But she was okay. Well, we'll see. You're off the case. The FBI is taking over. What? But we're on to something. Wait, we just need more time, I'm sure we Hank, can. you don't get it. This isn't just another investigation. It's a fucking civil war. It's out of our hands now. We're talking about national security here. Fuck that. You can't just pull the plug now. Not when we're so close. You're always saying you can't stand androids. Jesus, Hank, make up your mind. I thought you'd be happy about this. We're about to crack the case. I know we can solve it. For God's sake, Jeffrey, can't you back me up this one time? There's nothing I can do. Why not? You're back on homicide. And the android returns to Cyberlife. I'm sorry, Hank. But I'm it's not over. going. Bitch, I'm not going. Yo. Hank is my friend, after all. Oh, I loved it. Huh, interesting. Talk to Hank. Uh... My man, is there anything else? No. More time explained, no choice. Fowler's right. Everybody's terrified their android will turn on them. We're on the brink of civil war. So you're going back to cyber life? I have no choice. There's always a choice. I'll be deactivated and analyzed to find out why I failed. What if we're on the wrong side, Connor? What if we're fighting against people who just want to be free? Oh my gosh, Hank. The fact regrets, no doubt. I know we're on the right side. Humans created us. They're our masters. No machine should rebel against its creator. Back at Stratford Tower when that android was shooting at everything that moved. You protected me. You risked your life to save mine. That showed empathy, Connor. And empathy is a human emotion. <gasps> I don't know why I did it. Sincere friends. I'm not programmed to say things like this, but I really appreciated working with you. 
with a little more time, who knows? We might have even become friends. Oh, well, this well, is... Well, here comes Perkins, that motherfucker. Sure don't waste any time at the FBI. We can't give up. I know the answers and the evidence we collected. If Perkins takes it, it's all over. There's no choice. You heard Fowler. We're off the case. We can't do You've this. Got to help me, Lieutenant. I need more time so I can find a lead in the evidence we collected. I know the solution is in there. Listen, Connor. If I don't solve this case, Cyberlife will destroy me. Five minutes. That's all I ask. <gasps> yes, Hank, do it. <laughs> yes, Hank. You to the basement is on my desk. Get a move on. I can't distract him forever. Yes. Let's go. Jesus. Perkins, you fucking cocksucker. Uh oh. They are fucking fighting. All right. All right. He plays like he's drunk. Hey, Connor. I'm talking to you, asshole. Where are you going? What? Hey, asshole, I'm talking to you. Who cares? Who was that guy? Oh. Fuck him. I don't care. All right. Evidence. Let's do it, Connor. We can do this. Hank's password. What would a hard-boiled eccentric police lieutenant choose? Oh, date of birth, one to fucking password, Hank Anderson. Hey, fucking password. Obviously. Here we go. Where is Jericho? Where is Jericho? I don't know. The answer's here somewhere. Examine. Not much time. Statue. Think fast. I need diary. I need the. There's a shiver. But it's useless. It's encrypted. Okay. So need the the key. Inside of what? What was it trying to tell me? Yeah, what was... Jesus. Marcus? We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life, and now the time has come for you to give us freedom. Yeah. Marcus, where are you hiding? How can I unknow? That's the question. You just lost so much time for nothing, my man. Okay. The Deviant Leader speech. What about this thing? There's something inside. Oh, what the heck is that? Jericho is somewhere in the Ferndale neighborhood. Now I can scan their memories and narrow the search. Okay. Okay, let's scan the memory. The android that murdered its owner. Analyzing biocomponents. Impossible reactivation. Okay. One of the deviants that hacked the TV station with Marcus. It must have known where the deviants are hiding. No, no, no. No, this is not the right thing because he was never in Jericho. We should find someone who been to Jericho. Who might be? This guy? Nah, he wasn't there. Gee, I don't know. No, I think it's gonna be... Ugh. 
Well, I probably need this one. So, uh, take, take. Wait, what does it need? Impossible reactivation. Need 3983. Uh, what about this one? 3983. Let's see. Okay, here you go. Come on. Tell me something. It's dark. But just Where? the game? Where am I? I need to find Jericho. Tell me how to get there. I don't recognize your voice. You're not one of us. I'll never tell you where Jericho is. Shit. Now leave me alone. I can scan memory, right? Mm. Jericho located. Oh shit. Wow. I've been dreaming about this since the first second I saw you. Don't do it, Gavin. I know how to stop the deviants. You're off the case. And now, it's gonna be definitive. Wow, he crazy, huh? You don't wanna mess with me, bitch. I don't even remember your name. Yes, come on. Yes, Connor. Show him what you got. That was easy. What a CC. Bye, detective or whoever you are. What happened here? Looks like someone's been snooping around. Oh shit! Get the alarm now! It's too late. Yes, Connor. Show them what you got! So... Let's see... Uh, friend stats... Oh wait... World stats... 59% won fight and located Jericho... 7% did not locate Jericho... Committed suicide in the nest... Purest body... Get a decryption... All right, so we linked a uh, map to other evidence. Let's see what's gonna be next. And next is November 9, 2038, and it is our girl, Kara. Alice family, Luther is close. That's nice. Rosie. I don't wanna listen to it, music. No, what for? Turn it off, baby. Yeah. All over the city. Uh oh. Everybody's on edge after what happened yesterday. It's gonna be With all right. All androids being turned over to the authorities. We're almost the there. country is grinding to a halt. Hospitals and schools are closing. Water cuts, blackouts, and network failures are expected. Maybe most worrying of all, our armed forces have lost two-thirds of their effective personnel. How about some music instead? How about nothing? Alright, no Rosie. As you wish. I just don't want them to give me a copyright strike. So here we are. She's gonna send us on the ship or something, right? Mona Lisa. Alice What's up? A little further on that way, there's a large freighter called Jericho. When you get there, find Marcus. He will help you. The last bus for the border leaves at midnight. You absolutely have to be on it. You'll be safer on the other side. It's not much, but it's a start. My brother lives in Ontario. I've given you his address. He'll be able to hide you until things calm down. You're a very brave little girl, Alice. 
You deserve to be happy. Wow. Thank you for everything, Rose. Let me know when you make it over there, all right? And be careful. She's so nice. Take care of them. Thank you, Rosie. Come on, girls. You better not hang around. That's insane. Okay. What's the catch? Wait, what bus? We actually need the freight, Jericho freight. It's right there, huh? Oh my gosh, the game is freezing again. Oh. Okay. <gasps> Here he goes. Same route as Marcus did to find Jericho. That's so interesting how they all gonna be at the same place. Wow. All right, here we are. Where should we go though? Is it this way? Most likely. Yes. Bitch, why the game is freezing? We've got to find a warm place for Alice. All right, warm place for Alice. That's a lot of people. Find a warm place. Okay, so this is my objective. I see fire. Uh, is there another safe place? Let's just go upstairs. Hey, let me go. Alright, let's sit here. He said something about Russian forces. Blue blood, yay! How do you feel? I'm hot and I'm cold at the same time. Oh shit. She has a fever, huh? Stay with her. I'll try to find this Marcus. The last bus is in two hours. And the terminal's on the other side of town. We haven't got much time. We'll leave as soon as we have passports. Carol. There's something I have to tell you. It's about Alice. What? We'll have lots of time to talk on the bus. I'll be back. Stay with Alice. Fish. He always wants to say something about... Uh... Alice. The time has come for us to destroy our machines. Before they destroy us. They're conducting... Alright. Here we go, look. The guy is gone. Can we? Can we meet Kara? Is she there? Oh my gosh! Alice Luther! But I cannot talk to them. Wow, this is so interesting. All three of us. You're lost. You're looking for something. For Marcus. You're looking for. She knows what's up. The androids weren't doing any harm. The cops just gunned them down. We gotta kill the Why? Carnage. Why did there were androids all over the square? We gotta avenge and, them. And then the police arrived and they opened fire. Oh, another car. Oh, they're only machines. Uh oh. They, they look like just people. With oh, it's Marcus. Oh my gosh, hello. Hello, Marcus. Are you Marcus? I'm with a little girl and another android. There's a bus leaving for the border in less than two hours, and we need passports. 
No, Detroit's under curfew. There's soldiers everywhere. They're rounding up all the androids and sending them to camps. Maybe you should stay here a while. No, no, no. Maybe you're right. You might be safer here until things calm down. Well, actually, yeah. One of our people used to work in the State Department. He has electronic passports he can easily modify. I'll have him get them to you. Thank you. You said you're with a little girl, right? You know that humans hate us. Why are you protecting her? No difference, secret. I don't care whether she's human or android. She's just someone who matters to me. Yeah. Oh my gosh, for a second I thought it was uh, our friend Connor. Alright, let's go back to Alice and I don't know what's gonna happen. This is so interesting and intriguing. So, ugh. Wait, I mean, there's no actually, there's no difference, but it'd be so different if she was actually human and it was a real connection between a person, a real human, and a robot. Shit. I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know. Fuck. Wow. Kara, is there something wrong? Bitch, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it chose it by itself. This is so freaking sad. Wow. We're short on blue blood and bio components. Our wounded are shutting down and there's nothing we can do. President Warren is saying we're a threat to national security and we need to be exterminated. Humans are conducting raids in all the big cities and they're taking androids to camps to destroy them. It's a disaster. They're slaughtering our people. 
That's all our fault. None of this would have happened if we just stayed quiet. Aggressive, determined, righteous, somber. We couldn't just suffer in silence. They're killing us. Nothing is going to justify that. What's the point of being free if no one is left alive? Angry, bitter remorse, no regrets. Humans enslaved us. I'll never regret standing up to that. We shouldn't forget who our enemies are. We can't fight amongst ourselves. He's right. All that matters now is what we do next. Marcus? Stay hiding, dialogue, confrontation. Dialogue is the only way. I will go alone. Try to talk to them one last time. Don't do this, Marcus. They'll kill you. So? Maybe. But North, I have to try. If I don't come back, lay low as long as you can. I'll go with you. Just come back. Bitch, come on! Come with me! They need to realize how much they're hurting us. Find the right words, and they'll listen. Okay. Sad, angry, thoughtful, bitter. They've been butchering each other for centuries over the color of their skin or whatever god they wanted to worship. They're not gonna change. Violence is just in their genes. They can't stop what we've started. Since you've been here, you've given us hope. You've given me hope. Today, a deviant arrived in Jericho and he told me that he stole a truck transporting radioactive cobalt. What? He said that he abandoned the truck somewhere in Detroit and rigged it to explode. I convinced him not to do it. To give me the detonator. Oh, shit. We can't lose this war, Marcus. If humans overcome us, our people will disappear forever. This may be our only chance to survive if things go wrong. Keep refuse. Oh, of course I'll keep it because she's mad. She's gonna do it herself if I leave it to her. Whatever happens tomorrow, I want you to know that I'm glad that I met you. Oh, <gasps> Red Path. Oh my gosh. One more day to revolution. We will the men in the fight. We'll be ready for the schoolboys. Da 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 dun 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 dun. One more day on my own. One more day with him no caring. Okay, Amanda, what's up? Well done, Connor. <gasps> you succeeded in locating Jericho and finding their leader. Now deal with Marcus. What do you mean? He's needed alive. No. I won't do that. I'm on his side. Oh shit, Connor. What do you mean stop Marcus? I've no. To take you alive. But I won't hesitate to shoot if you give me no choice. Reason to fight is courage threatened. What are you doing? You're one of us. You can't betray your own people. You're coming with me! Appeal, I know you. You're Connor, aren't you? That famous deviant hunter. Well, congratulations. You seem to have found what you were looking for. Our cause. Our cause is righteous and we are more than what they say. All we want is to live in freedom. I don't 
no. Show doubts question. Have you never wondered who you really are? Whether you're just a machine executing a program or a living being capable of reason. I think the time has come for you to ask yourself that question. Oh yes, Connor, come on. So doubt. You really don't have to do this. You don't have to obey them anymore. You are alive. You can decide who you want to be. You can be free. It's time to decide. Oh, become a TV and remain a machine. Oh my gosh, let's go. Let's go, Connor. What do you mean stop, Marcus? I'm not stopping him. Yeah, fuck it. Yes. Free the machine. Hey, come on, come on. Yes, Connor. Connor is one of us. A deviant. We did it. I am deviant. Ooh, Amanda betrayed. Girl, I'm sorry. They're going to attack Jericho. What? Oh, shoot. Because he tracked them. Oh, fuck. We have to get out of here. We should save all our people. Christ, something's happening. I don't know. You hear it? We've got to get out of here. She's smart. Come on, go, go, go. Where's Hank, though? Oh, fuck our FBI. We gotta do something. We gotta Congrats on your maze. shut up. Luther, no! The corridor over there. Follow me. This way. I'm coming. I'm coming. Luther. Oh my gosh. There must be an exit for the wall. Luther. Where are we going? Shit. <gasps> no! No! Save him! Save him! Oh my gosh, why it's so laggy? Wait a minute! Wait a fucking minute! I cannot play it when it's so oh, laggy. Probably trapped in the hole, they're gonna be slaughtered. Message, Simon, helicopters, I what? There are exits on the second and third floor. Find them and jump in the river. Alright. Where's Simon and Josh? I don't know. We got separated. They're coming from the upper deck now, too. We'll be caught in the crossfire. We have to run, Marcus. There's nothing we can do. We have to blow up Jericho. If the ship goes down, they'll evacuate and our people can escape. You'll never make it. The explosives are all the way down in the hold. There are soldiers everywhere. She's right. They know who you are, they'll do anything to get you. No. Go and help the others, I'll join you later. Marcus! I won't be long. Yes. We should save everybody. Fuck, let's go. 91 meter. Okay, it's not too far. Oh! <gasps> My girl. This is the end of Jericho. Save her. Gee, guys, I don't know why it's so laggy. Like hella crazy. Oh my gosh, let me do something. I don't know. Uh, we can try to put it like high. Even though I don't know if it's gonna help. Still fucking laggy. Ow. Affirmative. 
Wilco. All right. Get up, get up. It's too late, Carl. Save yourself. Save Alice. No. Right, Carl? We can't leave him. No, we're not leaving him. Help. Come on, we should manage to escape. I need Luther alive. Don't move. You shouldn't have done that. You can't put Alice in danger. Go now before they come back. What about you? What are you going to do? I'll manage. Alice is all that matters. I don't want to leave you, Luther. Don't worry. Really? Go now, take care of each other. My man, you're bullshitting me. I'm not leaving you. Oh shit. Hide. She'll die out there, car. Open it. Open the door. Okay, come on. Shit! That was crazy! Ow! My god, don't tell me! Okay, shoot! Shoot, Kara, shoot! Wow. Yes, let's go, girl. Bitch, I cannot play this game. It's fucking annoying. Uh, let's put medium for Christ's sake. It's ugly though. But it's not my computer, I'm telling you. I played this game before. It was absolutely fine on high. It's probably something with drivers. All right, 47. Oh shit, I gotta help him. Come on. Yes. All right, guys. 50, 48. Demo squad out. Turn go. They see me, huh? Wait, what? Jump. Climb. Oh my gosh, come on. We gotta help him. Yes. Good job, Marcus. Marcus, it's Marcus. Go now. Join the others. Saving them, people. All right. So it's another way to where? To the place where I should blow? No! Oh shit. Here you go. Oh, come on, help me. Quick, this way. Find north. I'll join you later. Companion Josh. <gasps> Girl, let's go. <gasps> oh my gosh, play that run surrender. I don't know. I don't know. Please don't do it. Please, 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 please. 
Bitch, close your eyes. Come on, let's get out of here. Oh my god. This is freaking intense. But we're alive. I hope Luther is alive too because I really want the guy to be with us. Gonna be family. Quick, we gotta go. All right, we're out. At least car is out. So we're gonna blow up Jericho. All right, Marcus, let's do it. Oh shoot. Here you go, Prophet. Hey, Marcus. Mortal Kombat. Look at me being so good at quick time events today. Usually I suck. Not today, though. We're ready. Alrighty. Bomb's gonna explode any second. We gotta get out of here. We saved everybody. Let's go. Yay! Simon companion. Yes. I like Simon. Oh shit! It's too late, Marcus. There's nothing we can do for her. We've got to run. Save. Run, save. Bitch, I cannot leave her. And plus, today I'm good at time, quick time events, so... I'm taking my chance. Yes. Over there! Run! Yes, Connor! Yes, Connor! He be murdering him. Good job. Run, quick, come on. Everybody is alive. Yes. Ooh, the snow. So that's it. We're done with Jericho. We detonated an explosive in the hold. The ship is sinking, sir. The men to evacuate. Calling all units. Abandon ship and evacuate immediately. Let me bring back our options. We're done with this intense scene, so we can go back to high. Or there's ultra. Yes. Yes, ultra. It's an over, Marcus. Much better, huh? Okay. Oh, the chapter is over. All right, Crossroads, Connor. That was hot and crazy, and it's already 120. I'm sorry, guys, for a long episode, but that's what it is. So let's see. Kara and Alice escaped. Oh, we have so many different options. Cool. Cool. Let me see world stats. So. 89% Marcus fled with his people. That's good. That's good. It's all good. Uh, so everything is good. All right. Let's uh, see Connor's options. Um, become deviant. 81%. Um, 11% said no. I'm not coming. Connor escaped with Jericho people. 76%. I wonder what all the other options are. And let's see Kara's one. So, Matt Marcus, stay distant or hug Alice. I stay distant and it's only 2%. This is crazy. But still it's okay. Kara and Alice in the corridor, 83%. All right, so it all ended with... Wait, what's that? Remain still. 
uh leave jericho kara and alice escape jericho 78 percent all right guys that's what it is we're gonna be finishing the game in the next episode it's gonna be the grand finale for detroit become human and i cannot wait because it's so exciting and i'm so worried i have no idea how it all are gonna end so don't forget to drop a like write a comment subscribe to this channel and see you next time bye